This is crazy, man. You guys wait here in the shade. I'll knock on the door. How you feeling? I'm feeling like this is like so weird, bro. This is like killing me right now, like for real. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey. I'm gonna stick my head in for a second. What's he doing? I'm sure you must be pretty nervous. I just nervous. didn't know that he was standing right there. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's <pretty> <laughs> So weird, bro. Just be yourself, be honest. Say whatever it is that you feel comfortable saying. Okay? I'm ready. Okay. Oh my god, bro. Say something. No, I can I'll I'll start the conversation. <laughs> This is Jose. As I understand, Jose has been Rosa. Yep. This is just crazy, man. I, what are you doing, man? I, mean, I didn't mean for this to happen like this. Aren't you ashamed of yourself, bro? I am ashamed of myself. Yeah. I am, and I'm not gonna lie. What is this, man? Why would you do something like that? I never meant, you know, I never meant to hurt nobody else. I was trying to hurt the person in the picture. Girl in the picture? Why do you know her? Uh, <laughs> Natalie. <laughs> so you know Natalie? I went to school with her. In, in Florida. Florida. I was trying to get her to feel the pain that I felt. I used to be bullied in school, you know, by her and obviously a group of other people. So you created the account to to take revenge on her? Basically, yeah. You made that account in high school? I was in high school. I was in ninth grade. And how old are you now? No, I'm 26 now. That was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. Whatever you have against this girl, bro, what does that have to do with me? You don't play with people like that. You don't, you don't do that to people. I'm over here making plans. I'm like all into this girl. What, what were you actually planning on getting out of this? Eventually, we're gonna find out the truth. You know, this is just crazy, man. It's embarrassing, actually. You know? It is embarrassing. You know, like, I'm sorry. Like, I am. You need some help. You need to go to church. You need to get involved. You need to speak to someone. You can't just lock yourself in there and, and, and make believe you're a woman. If you like men, holla at a, at a, at a dude that likes men. It's as simple as I'm that, sorry. man. And I admit it. And um, I, I have nothing to say to you, man. This is an embarrassment, for real. I'm done here. him it might not seem that I care, but I really do. Like, I really do, and I feel bad about myself every single day that I wake up. <laughs> Some not forest, and if I thought I was with you. This is freaking crazy, bro. Cause you're not an angel, even if you're close. This is so embarrassing, it's not even funny. I didn't mean to hurt him. You know, but I was going through so much at home, and the only reason that I did continue talking to Danny, like I wanted to stop at first, you know. But he was the type of person that he sat there, you know, and he listened. He listened and actually gave me advice and never tried to judge me. Obviously, he was a good person, you know, very religious, you know, and those words of inspiration that he used to tell me, you know, you know, really helped too. 
everything that I said that, you know, that Rosa was going through, I really went through it, you know, as me, as Jose, you know. I told Danny, you know, that Rosa was sexually abused. I mean, it happened to me. I was in pain. I, to this day, I'm still in pain. I just try to find an escape. I try to find an escape to, through drugs. I used to do drugs heavy, you know, the only way that I stopped doing drugs, I got locked up. And that was the only thing that was helping me. I felt like being somebody else, being somebody that you're not, being somebody that you can actually talk to somebody and they can't judge you on your past because they don't know nothing about your past. All right, well look, this is a distinctive moment for you. Because right now, when you look back at your life, a lot of it's the stuff that wasn't great. It's getting bullied in high school, it's getting addicted to drugs, it's going to jail. It's not the best past. And while it's not gonna go away, starting now, you can do it a little differently. Tomorrow, if you're up for it, and hopefully help you start that process of healing and turn that page and leave volume one of the life of Jose somewhere else and start, you know, volume two. Okay. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. Like, thank you guys for real. All right. We'll check in with you later. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, man. Well, that was probably more than you bargained for. Uh, yeah. I just kind of like want to disappear from the world for a couple of days. Yeah, I mean, I know it's it's not fair because this is just as much your experience as it is his, but I think it's pretty obvious that this guy's had it pretty rough. You have every right to be mad and to not want to do anything more for this guy. But if you really wanted to be a hero, and go beyond, the one thing you could give him is to let him know this is not something you're gonna hold against him for the rest of your life. And that might lighten his burden a little more. <sighs> Hello. Hello, Jose, it's uh, Neve and Max, and we're in the car with Danny. We thought it might be good for us to get back together like we discussed and, and talk a little bit more. Okay. We'll probably be there in 10, 15 minutes. Okay, thank you. All right, see you soon. So this is it? This is it. Hello. You can come in. See you. How'd you feel after we left yesterday? Uh, it, it was kind of confusing. Yeah. Danny had a lot of emotions that he brought. You had a lot that you brought. You guys didn't really get a chance to like communicate in any kind of meaningful way. So that was partly what we were hoping we could do today. So you were Rose's voice. Now I'm really getting mad. You're gonna basically call me a liar. Like, you don't even know me. I felt like that was pretty convincing. You were pretty I good at so, right? right. Is that voice something that you've always been good at doing? I used to do um, acting in high school. But that voice, like, I never tried it before. Can we hear the voice right now? I mean, I don't know what's going on. You know, a lot of things have been changing in my life. Wow. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. You know, like, I'm embarrassed about the whole situation. Really, I'm, like, I can't even sleep at night, you know, thinking about all this stuff, all the consequences. You know, it was bringing me down every day. 
you know, every time that I thought about it, you know, every time that I, you know, that I was like, okay, I want to say something, but at the same time, I'm scared. I didn't know how to stop. You did Danny wrong. I did. But here he is. He could have not come back here today. He could have just chosen to be angry and just say, that's it. I don't want to ever see this person again, but here he is. I'm going to give you some advice, man. You know, first of all, erase those pages. You need to let go of those demons that are kind of like from the past. Stop worrying about Natalie, people that bullied you. You need to focus on you. Go to church. Once you start having a relationship with God, that's when God starts blessing you. Would it be OK if I pray for you? Yeah. OK? I'm going to do a quick prayer in Spanish. That's where I'm going to feel more comfortable. So close your eyes, man. All right? Padre, te presento a José, señor, que ha tenido un pasado difícil. Pero, padre, yo sé que tú tienes un plan para él, para ayudarlo a levantarse de esta oscuridad. Padre, te pido que brilles tu luz en él y lo lleves en el camino correcto. Enséñale tu amor. Enséñale a que ame a las personas y que no odie. Guíalo, bendícelo y dale una nueva vida de amor, de felicidad, para que sonría más todos los días, Señor. Gracias por escucharnos, Padre. En el nombre de Jesús. Amén. Mm -hmm. Que Dios te bendiga, José. Muchas gracias. OK. You're going to be all right, man. Thank you. OK? Yeah, You're going to be all right. right. gonna leave now and the cameras are gonna go away and it'll be very easy to go back to exactly how things were before so it'll be on you to kind of I am I am going you know I'm gonna do everything especially all the advice that you gave good use this experience to kind of move on yeah yeah I'm ready Good. Well, great. We've never had two hopeless hook up. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on.